okay in this uh, uh, video i am going to talk about how the rotational spectroscopy can be used and as, as an effective tool to determine the bond length in the molecules okay here i have given a problem and through this problem we will uh, learn how the rotation spectroscopy can be used for this purpose okay so the problem is that the first line that is the line originating from the j is equal to zero state in the rotation spectrum of carbon monoxide is found to be at 3.84235 centimeter inverse calculate the bond length this is a question i recommend you to take your notebook and write this question there the first line that is j is equal to zero in the rotation spectrum of carbon monoxide is found to be at 3.84235 centimeter inverse calculate the bond length some supporting data is given for the calculation that is the relative atomic weight of hydrogen is equal to 1.0080 of carbon is 12 and of oxygen is 15.9994 and the absolute mass of hydrogen is equal to 1.67343 into 10 raised to minus 27 kilograms okay this is the question and here we are given with the wave number observed in the rotation spectrum of carbon monoxide and this uh, spectral transition is corresponding to the transition from j is equal to 0 to j is equal to 1 state and this is a wave number corresponding to the j is equal to 0 to j is equal to 1 state okay and from this one we have to calculate the bond length in the carbon monoxide so let us begin so how can we calculate the bond length and we are given with nu bar 0 to 1 right that is a wave number corresponding to the transition from the j is equal to 0 to j is equal to 1 stage that is equal to 3.84235 centimeter inverse that is given in the question and but we have already learned that we have already learned that nu bar 0 to 1 is equal to 2v centimeter inverse right so we can equate this quantity with the 2v 2v Therefore, B is equal to half of this one that is equal to 1.92118 centimeter inverse that is B. But we know the expression for the uh, rotational constant B. B is equal to H divided by 8 pi square I C. Right. Therefore, from this one moment of inertia i is equal to h divided by 8 pi square b c okay and from this one we can calculate the moment of inertia for the carbon monoxide molecule therefore moment of inertia for the carbon monoxide molecule ico is equal to h 6.626 into 10 raised to minus 34 for joule second that is kilogram meter square second raised to minus 1 divided by divided by 8 into pi square pi square into bc rotation constant b is equal to 1.92118 centimeter inverse but be careful here we have meter in the denominator therefore we have to convert the centimeter inverse to the meter inverse how can we convert the centimeter inverse to meter inverse? 1 centimeter is equal to 10 raised to minus 2 meter, right? Therefore, centimeter inverse or 1 centimeter raised to minus 1 is equal to 10 raised to minus 2 meter the raised to minus 1. That is equal to 10 raised to 2 meter inverse. So, instead of centimeter inverse, we have to write 10 raised to 2 meter inverse okay so here we have to write 1.92118 into 10 raised to 2 meter inverse okay into the last quantity that is c velocity of light that is 
into 10 raised to 10 meter per second. Okay. So that is equal to 6.626 divided by 8 pi square into 1.92118 into 2.99. That is equal to 0. 0. 0. 0.014 um, 5695. 5695. Okay. Uh, into 10 raised to minus 34 here in the numerator. Here we have 10 raised to 2 into 10 raised to uh, this is no, 10 raised to 10, 10 raised to 8 meter per second. Sorry, only when we are writing this in centimeter, then only you have to write 10 raised to uh, 10. This 10 raised to 8 meter per second. Okay, sorry. So, this is 10 raised to 2 into 10 raised to 8, that is 10 raised to 10. So, we can write 10 raised to minus 34 into 10 raised to minus 10 raised to minus 10. Okay, and uh, so this is equal to 14.5695 14.5695 into 10 raised to minus 34 into 10 raised to minus 10 and here we put the point here 14 point so here we have a 10 raised to minus 3 so 10 raised to minus 34 into 10 raised to minus 3 that is 10 raised to minus 37 into 10 raised to minus 10 that is 10 raised to minus 47 10 raised to minus 47 what is the unit kilogram uh, kilogram and this meter square uh, here meter raised to minus 1 meter these two are cancelled right so unit we can get from here meter raised to minus 1 and the meter are cancelled second raised to minus 1 second raised to minus 1 are cancelled so what is remaining is uh, kilogram meter square kilogram meter square okay so this is the moment of inertia of the carbon monoxide molecule 14.5695 the 10 raised to minus 47 kilogram meter square okay now we have to uh, calculate the absolute mass of carbon so the absolute mass of carbon why i am calculating the absolute mass of carbon and oxygen because i am going to calculate the reduced mass of this one because I is equal to mu r square. So I, I wanted to get a mu. Uh, I is you all know that I is equal to mu r square, where mu is a reduced mass that is m1 n2 divided by m1 plus m2 into r square. Okay. So this r I have to calculate. For that I should have a mu, and a mu can be calculated from the masses of carbon and the oxygen. So that is why I am going to calculate absolute mass of uh, uh, carbon and oxygen okay so absolute mass of carbon absolute absolute mass of carbon is equal to calculate in the problem it is given that absolute mass of hydrogen is 1.67343 uh, okay and uh, the the relative atomic mass of hydrogen is 1.0080 and the relative mass of carbon is equal to 12 so from this one we can write like uh, 1.008 1.008 upon no, uh, 1, 1.008 uh, 1.008 relative mass and then in the 1.67437 uh, 1.67 that is given in the question 1.67343 343 into 10 raised to minus 27 kilogram. Like, e 1.008 relative mass in the absolute mass 1.67343 into 10 raised to minus 27 kilogram. Angani angil 12 relative mass in the upper group. 12 on carbon relative mass. So, on calculation. So, that is equal to uh, 19 point, 19.9217. 9217 into 10 raised to minus 27 kilogram. 10 raised to minus 27 kilogram. Okay. So the absolute mass of carbon is this one. Like that, we can calculate the absolute mass, absolute mass of oxygen also. That is equal to hydrogen and the chicken. 1.008 and then the relative mass of hydrogen. Absolute mass 1.6734. 
3 into 10 raised to minus 27 kilogram. Okay. That is oxy and ethra. Oxy and relative mass is 15.9994. 15.9994. Okay. That is the question. So that is equal to 26.5614. 26.5614 the 10 raised to minus 27 kilogram 10 raised to minus 27 kilogram it's right the absolute mass so from this one we can calculate the reduced mass mu reduced mass mu is equal to mass of carbon into mass of oxygen divided by mass of carbon plus mass of oxygen m and n2 divided by m1 plus n2 that is equal to uh, 19. Point 19.9217 into 10 raised to minus 27 minus 27 kilogram into uh, mass of oxygen that is 26.5614 into 10 raised to minus 27 kilogram divided by 19.9217 into 10 raised to minus 27 Okay, here I have 10 raised to minus 27 as a common factor in both. So, I will take it as a common factor later. 19.9217 uh, plus 26.5614 and for these two terms, we have a common factor that is 10 raised to minus 27 uh, kilogram. Okay, so here kilogram into kilogram. Okay, um, that is and now I have no it is only kilogram sorry because I have taken the common factor okay so no need to write kilogram two times that is kilogram okay so that is equal to uh, see this 10 raised to minus 27 this is cancelled with the, this 10 raised to minus 27 kilogram so that is 19.9217 into 26.56 one four divided by this quantity that is equal to 11 point 11 point three eight three six five three eight three six five okay three six five um, into 10 raised to minus 27 okay so the unit is kilogram into kilogram divided by kilogram so that is equal to kilogram so this one of this kilogram and this kilogram is cancelled. So, what is remaining is kilogram. So, this is the reduced mass of the carbon monoxide molecule. And this reduced mass is now um, can be multiplied with R square that will give I. Okay. But we have already calculated I. So, in the next step we have to write I is equal to uh, mu R square. Okay. That is I CO is equal to mu CO R square. ICO is already there. So, from this one, uh, mu CO is already there. So, from this one, we can calculate R square. So, R square is equal to I CO divided by mu CO. I CO divided by mu CO. That is, is equal to 14.5695 into 10 raised to minus 47 kilogram meter square that we have already calculated divided by mu co that is equal to 11.38365 38365 into 10 raised to minus 27 10 raised to minus 27 kilogram okay so that is equal to that is equal to uh, 1.279 1.2799 into 10 raised to Minus 20, 10 raised to minus 47, divided by 10 raised to minus 27, that is equal to 10 raised to minus 20 uh, uh, meter square, right? Meter square. Kilogram and kilogram are cancelled. So, R square is equal to this one, therefore, R is equal to root of this quantity, and that is equal to 1.131 into 10 raised to minus 10 meter, okay? And 10 raised to minus 10 meter is equal to angstrom. So, R is equal to 1.131 angstrom. Okay. So, that is RCO. So, RCO that is the bond length in the carbon monoxide molecule. Bond length in the carbon monoxide molecule is 1.131 angstrom. 
okay 12131 angstrom so we just began from a data which we obtained from the spectrum we took the rotation spectrum and from there we got a line corresponding to 3.3.84235 cm inverse and from this one we calculated the bond length of carbon monoxide as 1.131 angstrom and this is very close to the real bond length in the carbon monoxide so this rotation spectroscopy is a effective tool to determine the bond length in the molecules so this is an application of the rotation spectroscopy and i hope from this example you understood how we can use rotation spectroscopy for uh, calculating the bond length okay and uh, thank you for watching and stay tuned